Why are people always so mean? Why are people always so horrible? You know, here's an idea. Be the change that you want to see in others. If you want to see people say nice things to you, say nice things to them. If you want people to you know, bring you gifts, bring them gifts. If you want you know, someone to give you help with a project, help other people with a project. Be the change you want to see in others. There's a song that goes, now, some people may like this guy, some people may not, but I'm just wanting to use the words of a particular song to emphasise an example. Now, some people like, some people don't like Michael Jackson, but I'm just wanting to use the words of a song that he used, just a small section. It says, if you want to make the world a better place, it's a, his, talk, his song was, he's talking to the man in the mirror. He's asking him to make a change. If he wants to make the world a better place, then look at yourself and make the change. Now, what does that mean? It's basically saying to yourself, he says, I'm talking to the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. If you want to make the world a better place, start with yourself and make the change. He's saying that to himself. So, if you want to make the place a better place, if you want to help things make better, then be the change that you want to see. Oh, why don't the people do this? Well, then do it. Why don't people do that? Well, why don't you do that? People should say this. People should do this. Well, why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? Be the change. Start the motion of doing something. If you think people need to be doing something good in your community or in your family or society or whatever it may be, why don't you go ahead and do it? Start the project. Let's start the ball rolling. Get a few people around you with like-minded interests. So you want to say, for, for argument's sake, this is just an example. Why are all these lawns on the nature strips all along? The homes and gardens in the houses are all beautiful, but the nature strips are terrible. The grass is all grown, you know, trees are all overgrown. Well, then, why don't you get your lawn mower and start mowing? Why don't you get your hedge clippers and start trimming the trees? That's just an example. And talk to other people. Says, look at all these grasses overgrowing. Look at the trees overgrowing. We should get some lawn. I mowed, you know, my whole street, um, or half my street, or next door neighbours, whatever it may be. So if you can get people said, well, that was an idea. That's a good idea. I might join you with that one, and they start helping mowing the lawns of other people in their local areas, and spread the word. So if you want to see some good things happen, step out in faith. Pray to God. First, pray to God. Seek His will. Is this His will for your life? And then, if you share it with other people, and if people like the idea, get on board with it. Start a little group, mowing lawns. Start a little group, um, trimming hedges. Be the change that you want to see in society. Build a Bring people around you who have shared the same vision, who support and encourage one another. If you want to make the world a better place, look at yourself and make the change. And this goes the same with relationships. Why are everyone so mean? Well, be nice to them. Scripture says, you know, being nice and kind to someone throws, is putting a form of hot coals on their heads. Meaning, if someone's really, really mean to you, be nice back to them. If someone's always lying at you, say thank you to them. Have a nice day. You look so beautiful. If someone's um, sabotaging your work or whatever, be nice and give, give them a cake. Bake a nice cake. A nice cake. A good cake. Not saying, you don't have to make cake. It's just an example. Give them a bottle of certain nice drinks or whatever it may be. By doing good works to them, for them, then it's going to be hard for them to want to do you harm later on. So in all things, be the change. Do good to those who hate, who hate you and despise and use you. Pray for them. If you've got a boss that's being abusive, although a lot of people don't have work these days, but the principle's the same. Pray for them. What about saying, just say you've got an employee, a boss who works above you, who's horrible and mean, 
They're always lying. They're always making accusations against you. They're always threatening you. They're always taking your stuff. You know, so forth and so forth. What if you were to pray for that person who was being hor so horrible to you? Say, oh Lord, please give them a, a better job in another place that they'll be happy with. Please give them a better job at another place where they'll be happy with. Now, you haven't condemned them. They're being horrible to you. You're being nice back to them. And praying to them, you're saying, Lord, give them a better job that they'll be happy with at another place. Can you imagine that? Now, if that were you, if that were you and that person, you could pray to you could be praying to them, oh may they fall over and break their neck. But what is if that were you? Would you want to be falling over and breaking your neck because someone didn't like you? Can you imagine something you do and say someone else does not like? They hate the way you do things or things things you say or the way you dress or the way whatever it may be. And they say, Oh, I hate that person so much. And they say they would wish that you'd fall over and break your neck. You would not want that. I would not want that. Therefore, and likewise, why would you impose that upon someone else? Why would you speak curses to one another? Why would you speak curses to anybody? So pray to God for blessings in their lives. Pray to God that they'll be blessed. For example, um, if someone's horrible to you and they live in your area, may they find a new home, may have the desire to live in another suburb or town in a better place where they'll be happier, where they have a, a better house, better views, um, better environment. So just say you've got a horrible next door neighbour and they're always throwing junk over your fence or whatever it may be, as an example. May they find a better place they would rather live somewhere else in a different state or a different side of the state different side of the state or a different um, suburb. Ask for blessings and not curses. Just think if that were you or if that person who's being so horrible, what if that were your son or your daughter? What would you think if your son or your daughter was like that and then someone was praying these horrible things to you, to your son or your daughter? Or your mother or your father. So be the change. Speak good things to people. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. If you're on the receiving end, what would you want them to be saying about you? If you're on the receiving end, what would you want people to do for you or say to you or think of you? Then do the same things for them. Mow their lawns, make them a cake, buy them a nice bottle of drink, compliment them. You have beautiful hair, you've got beautiful eyes, and not sarcastically or, or anything like that. Don't be condescending. Do it all in sincerity and truth. If they're horrible to you, try to find something that's nice about them. You know, I honestly think you the way you style your hair is very nice today. Or... The food, you, I like the food you make. That looks very nice. How, how did you make that? Or where did you buy that one? I, you know, it's a very good. I like the, the clothes you're wearing. That's a nice jumper you're wearing today. You know, or something. Find a way to compliment people. Find a way. Look for a way to compliment people. Look for a way to help them if they're in. Even though it may seem impossible because there's nothing nice about them, or they don't do or say or anything that's good or nice about them. So it makes the job harder for you. You need to look deeper. Look deeper to find out in a way to compliment them. It may not be easy. It may be very... You may think, well, there's nothing to compliment them. They're always lying. They're always threatening. They're always deceiving. They're always stealing. They're always late. They leave late. They come... They, they arrive late. They leave early. They don't do anything good. You're know, always attacking, vandalizing something. Just... Or what I say, oh, they're nice shoes. Where do you get those shoes from? Well, that's a nice jacket. Where do you get the jacket from? Or, you know, or the food they eat. Look for some way to compliment them. 
in all things do unto others as you would have them do unto you do unto you treat others the way you'd want someone to treat your son your daughter do not be someone who you would not want your son or daughter around if your son or your daughter was to go out and have a relationship with somebody what sort of person would you want them to be around and be that kind of person to them not to have a relationship with them in that way but you can be the living example of what sort of person that they should go and look out for. Someone who's loving and supporting or someone who's condescending and abusive. In all things, honour and glorify God. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Be the representation of God on earth. May they see God in your words, in your actions, in your thoughts, in your deeds.